Your channel. Now, how will I know the degree of this diagram? If you place your potato on this, you should get exact 60 degrees. So that shows that our A is what? 60. Now look at it. Now you make sure this point of this potato is touching the tip of the triangle. Do you see now? So we have what? 60. That means the A part of this is what? Is 60, 60 degrees. So the next thing I'm going to do, you have to label the outline A, B, and what? C. <laughs> now we have our what? A, B, and A, C, and B, C. Now on your line A, B, you have to pick your normal. On the line what? A, B, you, you do what? You pick your normal. You can pick normal at any point from here. So we now take a protractor to make sure it's what is 90. You can look at it here. So we make sure it's exact what 90 degree from this side. So the normal, so you have to trade it out. If I'm having 90, so we now use a ruler to what to bring out the outline of the normal. Can you see that? Alright. We want to get 45 degrees from our normal. Make sure you place it back on what? 90 degrees. So if you are counting, you don't count like this. You count from here to mean 90. So if this place is what? Is 90 degrees. So here should be what? 10, 20, 30, 40. So 45 should be what? Somewhere here. You say that. So if I'm having 25 degrees here, you have to trade it out to meet the normal. To meet the normal, to meet the normal. So this is your what angle of what incidence? Angle of what incidence? Okay, on the angle of incidence now, I will place two pins to get to what pin one and pin two. You understand that? You can put what the first pin here, the second pin here. So you now you place your prism. Make sure the prism is well placed on the diagram so you can have accurate what reflection of the imagined way. After putting the pin on line A B, so we have to get what the imagined way looking towards side A C. You can see the pin to the prism. That is, it should be parallel to what you are having on your incident tray. All right, you can see the pin parallel to the reflection of the incident tray on the what the line AC. You can look at the prism, so we are having the incident, the emergency ray, rather, pardon me, on what the line AC. So, the next thing I'm going to do now to trace out the the uh the emergence pin from the what from the prism. So after we got in the two types, we have to work to make sure they are both. We put the pencil on them to be able to, to trace them out. So now use your ruler to join the two pins together like this. To join the two pins together. All right. So these are what line of what emergence. To that, you now use your potato to get the normal. To get the normal. The normal for the what that side as well. See this angle 90. Angle 90. Use all that to trade it out to get the normal for the what pin. So we can label now. This should be our what pin one, P2, P3, and what P4. Alright, this is what you label this as what E. And this is our eye. The next we are going to do is this. We are going to join. Make sure the normal are joining together. Make sure the normal. The normal are joining together. Make sure the normal are joining together. Can you see that? And you trace up the incident tray. You trace up the incident tray.
and we trace backward the emergence way as well to meet. So this can give us our angle of deviation. So from this now we've gotten our what incident ray, incident angle, our image angle, our what angle of deviation. The next thing to get the record of these three what angles. First. Now I've gotten my four pins for what P1, P2, P3, P4. The next thing to use my protractor to get what the angle for the incident emergence ray and what the deviation ray. Now look at what I'm doing like this. Now you place your protractor to be exactly what angle 90. You can see this angle 90 here. You count downward to where you're having what, your what emergence what ray. You can see from here this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And I'm having exactly as well 55 to 56. That's the angle for my what emergence. Same thing to my what deviation angle. So you place it to be exactly on what angle 90. So I'm having if you count. This is where the uh, division angle stops. So I'll be having it to what? Uh, that is giving me what? 29 degree. So I've gotten my three angles. You know, don't forget my incident is gotten from what? 45 degree. And my what? Uh, Imagine's angle is what? Is exactly what? 55. And my division is what? 29. This is exactly what we are looking for to solve what? A triangular prison. Kindly subscribe to Focus Academic Solutions.